Welcome to episode four of Sparta Speaks, where we talk about events and sports coming up, our Spartan community, and what it's like to be a high school student. I'm Christopher Morris. I'm Jasmine Galvez. And I'm Harper Tuttle. Today's a casual episode, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, guys, so there's a lot of really exciting things happening this month in October. Yeah? Like yeah. what? Okay. Tell me about them. Personally, Noche Latina here yes. at West Hall. I'm so excited. It's always so fun. I went last year and it was really exciting. Yeah. yeah the food was good. The music was fun. This month it's the 26th. 20, yes, 26th of October is Noche Latina. Do we know what time it is? Um, No. Probably pretty late. I'm you know, guessing. I'm pretty sure it went pretty late last year. Yeah. But because the 26th, we have a one act. We, we do have we have our one act competition. One act competition coming up We're for taking in terrible Dawson. infants. Yes. So for theater, um, every year there's a one act competition where um, you just do 55 minutes of a play. You have to cut it into one act, and so we're going to do that the 26th. It's a lot of fun. Um, and we're actually performing the show for like audiences, mm -hmm. the twentieth, twenty first, and twenty third. And they're all at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you you will, you know, because we have that competition, we might miss it. But, I know. I mean, it's a lot of fun because there's it, oh, yeah. there's so much good food. Yeah. There's dancing. Yes. You know, actually, I've been at Chambelanes at a um, Chambelanes. Yeah. You've been at Chambelan. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> At um a quinceanera before, um and let me tell so you. So you're a pro. I'm basically yeah, basically. Wow. You got that salsa running through your veins, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um and our terrible infant, the our terrible infants, the tickets. I think we're gonna have on GoFan. Mm -hmm. Go fan this year. Yeah, because we're, we're doing online tickets yeah, doing this online. year for the first time. For the first time ever. Yeah, because it's just been physical t tickets. Like you buy them at lunch. Um, and you'll still be able to do that, but I think we're going to try and do online tickets. Go yeah. fan. Mm -hmm. All right. Because now we have a lot of seats to fill. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. 419 seats. We have three nights for this show. That's. That's. I don't know. What's 419 times three? Uh, 12 something. So tell your friends. 12. If you're Out of the three 50. days, 1,257. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> a lot oh, of yeah. seats. Um, Tell oh. friends. Um, in case you didn't know what Terrible Infants is about, it's kind of like Dr. Seuss meets Ronald Dahl meets, t meets Tim Burton. Yeah, it's like a it's, bunch of little short stories. There's like puppets. It's not like a puppet show, though. No, it's not. It's like... Yeah, it's not like you're watching the Muppets, but... If yeah. you look at the pictures, initially it's like very eerie, very yeah. like spooky but it's really not it's like it's a lot of fun it's really fun there's a lot yep. of rhyming so all it's you really listeners cool. should totally become watchers oh yeah and come watch you terrible actually infants see our faces and not just hear yes. our they will be covered in makeup though it's so heavy it's insane do you it's, guys okay i get that it's a lot of makeup because the makeup we have to do is kind of like face paint it's like clown but, old my makeup mm -hmm. but like that's insane and just like even the little bits, like w my waterline or something was done, mm -hmm. and I hated it. I can send. Do you do that every day, Jasmine? Because you have that. Um, you have like the I do eyeliner. Eyeliner. What's the difference? Uh, eyeliner is on like the your outer eye, part of your uh, eye. Your eyelid. Yeah. Oh, what is my waterline? Your waterline is like this lid part that's underneath your eye. Oh, I that's hated that. That's your waterline. They're like, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. I'm like. Oh. I can't. You'll be fine. And then the makeup wipes are burning. They're like. Oh. Find something right. else that works for you. I know. Get like Personally, a good face wash. Yeah. I use coconut oil to take my makeup off, especially really? that heavy makeup. I mm. s like smother my face in coconut oil. Does it taste good? No. Oh. Uh, it burns if you get it in your eye. Just <laughs> well, don't get it in your eye. That's what I don't want. That's, I, I hate But I've never got. I've only gotten it in my eye once. Then you clean it off with white water, and then you wash your face with whatever face wash you okay. use. Well, That's what I do. 
this fall break, you can go to Target and find out what works best for you to wash your and face Just find stuff at Target. This fall break. Speaking of fall break. It's coming up. Yes, it's next week. I'm Literally. So, I'm so ready. And different from other years, we have a three-day long know. fall break, not yeah. just like what a Monday it, or something. Was it the 15th, 16th, and 17th? 16th. 16, 17, 18. 18? It's on Monday, Wednesday. Monday. Monday. (laughs) We both did the same thing. Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. You guys got any plans? I know the Taylor Swift movie is coming out this weekend, isn't it? The, like, Eras Tour movie. Um, I'll probably see it more than once. uh, This weekend? (laughs) (laughs) Well, um. But I'm just going to be enjoying this nice cold weather yeah maybe find some pumpkins like at a pumpkin patch <gasps> yes, i do want to go pumpkins. to that. um the i can't remember the corn maze that's on friendship road uh, the just the, the buford, buford corn the, maze the, the, corn maze <laughs> on the big buford. corn maze in buford yes, yes. yeah that, i um, have always gone it's fun yeah it's a lot of fun so i'm also, probably gonna be carving pumpkins this weekend um well, that's a lot of fun mm-hmm. normally over breaks and stuff i remember growing up i my mom would always like three-day weekends or stuff like that my mom would always take us to the mall it was just i don't know it's just like a nostalgic thing yeah, shopping for like fall clothes yes I need, I need more fall clothes Ugh, i need more fall clothes because <laughs> i am freezing girl Dude, okay, so a couple episodes ago, we were talking about how much we love the new fall weather and that it's getting colder. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And all I could think about when it was just like 90 degrees was fall and how it's going to it's gonna be nice and I'm going to like, Sweater you know. Sweater weather. Yeah, um, but now I'm waking up and it's like 38 degrees and I want to explode. <laughs> um, <laughs> it used to be, I am ready for this fall weather and now you want it gone. Yeah, I don't like it in the mornings. I don't want to wake up to the cold. I want to wake up and just be like, ah, you know. And then during the day, there's a little breeze and you see like a, a, a orange leaf, you know, <laughs> get blown love, by the breeze by you. I love just... going to sleep and it's cold. Like you can just bundle up yeah. get all of your nice, like yeah. good I'll, blankets. Yeah. yeah. Like all that. warm. The heater turning on. <laughs> um, it's perfect. I love it. Yeah. Hey, I saw, I was watching the Braves game. Uh, poor Braves against those Phillies. Um, they won, yes. Did they win? Yesterday, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yesterday? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they did win yesterday. Yeah. When was yesterday? Tuesday. No. Yesterday was Monday. Oh, the 9th. The 9th. They okay. did win yesterday. Yeah, we're recording this on the 10th right now. It's so coming to you guys. So that was the 9th. Monday yeah. the 9th. But Mr. Elsie, our chorus oh. teacher here at West Hall, was singing the national anthem. Dude. Oh, yes. So was our old like Dr. music. Yeah, Doctor Gale was Dr. also Gale. there. He was also like, and they in a sounded men's great. Group? Yeah, it was oh a, like gosh. a octet or something. Yeah. So I know the Instagram like really West Hall well. Spartans. If you follow it, yeah. they posted like the video, some pictures. It mm-hmm. was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and congrats to the um, talking about our chorus teacher, uh, the chorus on the fifth had a concert and they did pretty <gasps> good. So oh. congrats That's to awesome. them. Awesome. That's a nice great fall concert. Yep. And while we're giving thanks to our arts, band had a competition. Oh my gosh. And they did amazing. Yes. Let me pull up the stats right here. It says they got straight superiors in every category. So in every category, they got straight superiors. And that's that's, that's crazy. That's, that's really category. Wow, good. That's awesome. They uh, got first place drum major. Um, Congratulations. And AA. Uh, double A, I guess. Uh, first place color guard. The color guard did amazing. So many yes. awards for the color guard. We have a great color guard. We do, and I think we should, like they deserve so much recognition because they're at every football game, mm-hmm. just with our band. Mm-hmm. They um, do the shows and everything. They and do. They also do like the lunch things that whenever the band plays mm-hmm. during home mm-hmm. games, they do that too. They have so much choreography I and couldn't flipping imagine, flags. Like, Waving a flag while it's girl, and those flags are high, heavy. Yeah, while it's like high winds, I cannot. Yeah. I can't. Imagine. No, but they got first place, so congrats to them. That's awesome. crazy. And like that was just in the region they got first place, mm-hmm. and then overall, not just double A. Overall, they got third. Third place, which is color guard. That's that's, awesome. that's insane. That's amazing. Yeah. So huge congrats to our color guard. Um, yeah. Percussion, percussion got second place, and um, they got a third place band. Yeah, band class got yeah. third. Because last Friday, because they competed on Saturday, and last Friday we had a bye week, and um, so they showed their halftime show, the show, before they left, and I watched mm-hmm. it, and it was awesome. Uh-huh. I, I wish I I've seen gone. it multiple times, but yeah, because I so. see it every Friday and stuff. Oh yeah, at the football games, but it was really good. Mm, they huge did, congrats they, to all our band of silver. Really oh, yeah. job. They did amazing. 
And they also did a great job on our intro and outro. I know. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right, Harper, you want to tell us anything that's going on in the Flower Branch area, uh, you know, for fall, for the rest of October? Give us something to do. Maybe we're bored sitting at home. We got okay. nothing to do. Well, to start off like the fall break, I think um, every first Sunday of the month, they have music in the branch. So they have like the nice new amphitheater that's downtown. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the 15th, it's not the first Sunday, but maybe they had to reschedule or something. But the 15th, they're having music in the branch there that Sunday. That's so fun. Um, we have a block party the <gasps> 20th. Um, so that would be exciting, like a Halloween block party. Yeah, that's fun. Those sure are always really fun. Block parties are always fun. That's um, always then they have a trunk or treat the twenty sixth, like we yes. talked about I love in episode trunk or one. Treating. Yeah, I might, I might actually. Oh, that's the twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. That's our competition day. That's competition. And Noche, Noche Latina. Latina. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, everything's so happening the twenty sixth. I know. What if else you... is happening the twenty sixth? Maybe a special episode of Sparta Speaks <gasps> is coming out on the twenty sixth. <gasps> so much happening. Oh, oh my Halloween god. Episode. Oh, and then they have um, the Boo Run 5K, the 28th. Yeah, I've been seeing signs. Ooh, they got I those big to signs run everywhere about the branch. Movement. Yeah, they even have some in Oakwood. I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah. So, gonna be a lot of fun if you love running. You do. I do not. I yeah. cannot do it. <laughs> I cannot can't do either. the 5K. I my mean, sister, my dad, my brother, they can all run. I cannot. That's. Yeah. I can't run long distance. Mm -hmm. Short distance and fast, not long distance. You know, guys, a three day weekend is. Amazing. Absolutely stellar. The only thing is, though, we won't have an episode of Sparta Speaks oh, coming yeah. out. Because we won't be here that Tuesday to record. So yeah. I'm so sad. <sighs> but you know what you can do instead? What, Harper? What can I do instead? <laughs> Enlighten you us. You can look at our Instagram. Yeah? Because What's it called? now we have an Instagram. Sparta underscore speaks underscore podcast. Wow. Everyone should go totally go. What will I find us. on the Instagram, Harper? Tell me. There you can find behind the scenes footage and videos. Mm -hmm. You can get um get access to the links if you need a link quickly. Um, if there's any updates. Any yeah. updates, any cool things happening. Maybe some cut there. audio yeah. from one of our shows. Maybe something doesn't make it in. We post it up on the post Instagram. It there, yeah. So if you if you really miss our voices next week when we're not here because of fall break, you can follow our Instagram <laughs> and you can listen to them there. It'll be a lot of fun. And we had a couple. We put out this thing so you could ask us questions. Do we have any questions from that? Maybe um, we could talk about one that I remember someone asking is: Is there more doors or wheels in the world, girl? In the entire world, I remember this question about a year ago. It yeah. was really big, and. <sighs> I made a 50 oh. like slide PowerPoint on what I thought, and I cannot remember what my answer was. I know. I always go back and forth mm -hmm. on it because... It's because like, everything's a door, but then also everything's a wheel. Everything's a it wheel. Just, it depends on like what you define a wheel or a door. Yeah, I think, it really defines. I think for a door, <laughs> you have to open. It can't be like an archway. You have to op like physically open a so door like would you, have you to have a it has to have a handle yeah so not a curtain why would no, a curtain a, a, a curtain curtain's is, a piece of fabric okay hanging. but in certain places like where my dad is from honduras yeah. they use a, it's a very poor country so there's they use curtains for doors i know in my grandma's house or what used to be my grandma's house every almost every single door was a curtain hear me out though if i really want mac and cheese and i'm hungry <laughs> what does that have to do with <laughs> any of this and i eat a rock that doesn't mean I'm eating mac and cheese. That means I'm just replacing mac and cheese with a rock. All right? It's just okay. just because they're using edible. a curtain in place of a door doesn't mean that it is a door. It just means that it happens to divide a room from another room or a room from the outside, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just a divider. It's not really a door. I can't, okay. I can't remember what my answer... Because I remember being like, I'm yeah. set... On one, but I, I can't remember what it was. At I first, I was, was a door guy. I think it's. I think I'm a wheels gal. I think yeah. I am also. I think a I'm wheels a wheels gal. girl. I turned in. I turned into wheels. I was converted to wheels, um, eventually because there's just everything is a wheel. 
I think like, like your immediate thought is like, oh my god, you if you picture something, you picture a door and you picture wheels. Normally with wheels, you picture like four four wheels, wheels on like a car and one door and one door. So even though so cars like normally immediate... have like twenty doors in them, you have like the four doors. And you see, have the trunk. The if you think you the hood, deeply into it, the glove box. Yeah, but would m- you consider that a door? No. You wouldn't consider a glove because box a door. You don't, you don't walk, walk through, through it. it. There's our bell. We love our bell. Thank you, bell. Thank you, bell. <laughs> you don't walk through a glove box. No, but do you? Does it have to be a passageway to be a door? I think that's so. where it. That's where I, I like what so you too. define a door. Okay, well, if it has to be a passageway, it, there's it's gotta be wheels. Yeah. There's just not enough like hinged things that are passageways. Okay, but something also I remember people like use the argument of like gears mm-hmm. are considered wheels. I'm like, I wouldn't. Would you consider gears wheels? If they were, then there's like a billion trillion. I wouldn't wheels consider exactly. a gear a wheel and uh to like the wheels side. Think about all of the toy cars, all of. See exactly. That's one of my and points that I made was you know how many wheels like Lego has to make every single real. year. Hot wheels and those hot wheels. No hot doors on hot there's wheels. There's no yeah. doors on those. But there's there four wheels. wheels. Yep. And in like cars, you got the steering wheel. That's a wheel. <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's a round thing on Once an axle. Once again, that spins around. Would you define that as a? The no. name is just a steering on you. wheel. Yeah. Well, a a cabinet door. You don't go. You through don't it. walk through it, oh. but it's still a door. Well, they call it a cabinet door. Would you I count a cabinet door then, as a door or no? I know a lot of people would. Because it's not a passageway. Yeah, I mean, I could. You could technically go into a cabinet. There's just so many schools of thought with all of this yeah. stuff. It all like branches into like different mm-hmm. smaller things. So, like, oh my god, you have a point with that, but at the same time, yeah. this. Leave a comment if you're watching on YouTube. Leave a comment, and I think on Spotify there's like a Q and A thing. Oh yeah. Um, let us know. So let us know what your what mm-hmm. side you're on because this is we could argue quite about this for a we could. long we could. long time. So if you wanna, you know, follow that Instagram. Uh, keep updated with us and submit questions. You can do it on Spotify too, I guess. Maybe mm-hmm. ask a question in the comments mm-hmm. of the YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'd be happy to answer them. So, because we want to be not just a podcast, but we want to be um, a podcast for West Hall, a podcast for the community, and a podcast for you. We want to wow. talk about what y'all want yeah. to hear about. So, of course. Yeah, so yeah. please say if you don't want to listen to me talk about Taylor Swift for like five minutes. <laughs> for the past two Let episodes. <laughs> all right, thank you all for listening. I'm Christopher Morris. I'm Jasmine Galvez. And I'm Harper Tuttle. And you'll not hear us next week because of fall break, but the week after that you'll hear us on... Sparta, Sparta Speaks. Speaks.